Hello friends, I am back again with yet another ethics case study. We are going to analyze today this case study from all angles and suggest the best option. But before we proceed with the resolution of the case, let me introduce myself. I am Krishna Mohan, an IS officer of 1977 batch from Haryana Kader. During the 36 years of my career, I have worked on some of the most crucial and sensitive posts in Government of Haryana and in Chandigarh administration. The civil services examination tries to assess how a civil service aspirant will face difficult ethical and challenging situations in his career. The GS4 paper is designed to assess the candidate in respect of these crucial dimensions. An important part of the ethics paper is the case studies. So we are going to discuss one such case study today. The case study runs like this. You are posted as Secretary of the Environment Ministry. To spread awareness of environmental issues, you have organized a convention to which young college students have been invited. The convention is located close to the National Museum and some young students went to the nearby National Museum and tried to disfigure a historic oil painting made by a famous artist. So, kuch young boys, they went to this museum and they tried to disfigure an important oil painting, a famous oil painting. Upon inquiring, it was found that they were trying to stage a protest to send a message to the oil companies to stop using oil which is bad for the environment. And they also said that they were only trying to help meet the aims of the environment convention that was being organized. The issue has been sensationalized and a variety of public opinions are floating in this regard, some in favor and some against. You have been asked by the ministry to organize a press conference to address this particular issue. Now let us see what are the various ethical, moral and other issues involved in this particular case. And what would be your key message to the press and the public in general? And what are some policy methods you would like to suggest to reduce the usage of fossil fuels in both short term and long term basis? So here you have to suggest which option is best, hoga, short term option is best hoga, or long term measures जो आपके लिए आवश्यक है मिनिस्ट्री में लेने के लिए तो सबसे पहले हमको समझना पड़ेगा केस स्टडी की समरी तो समरी इज लाइक दिस यू आर पोस्टेड एज सेक्रेटरी ऑफ द एनवायरनमेंट मिनिस्ट्री एंड यू हैव ऑर्गेनाइज्ड एन एनवायरनमेंट कन्वेंशन फॉर अवेयरनेस अमंगस्ट द पब्लिक एंड सम कॉलेज स्टूडेंट्स हु आर पार्टिसिपेंट्स इन दैट कन्वेंशन दे हैव ट्राइड टू डिसफिगर अ हिस्टोरिक पेंटिंग टू सेंड अ मैसेज to stop using fossil fuels and there is a public outcry social media is divided on the issue and the ministry is asking you to hold a press conference so how would you handle this particular issue so sabse pehle hamare liye avashyak hai ye samajhna ki isme stakeholder kaun kaun hai so you as the secretary of the environment ministry you are one of the stakeholders you are the protagonist the participants of the environment convention, they are also a stakeholder. The students who have tried to vandalize the painting, they are also one such a stakeholder. And then general public is also a very important stakeholder. And the fossil fuel companies obviously are also a stakeholder. So let us identify the issues involved in this particular case study. The first issue is ends versus means debate or in other words deontological versus teleological ethics the third issue is issue of impressionable young minds jo students hai bacche hai young minds hai unka bhi jo hai iske andar bahut important issue arise hota hai kyunki wo bahut hi young bacche hai aur unke minds ko Conditioning बड़े आसानी से किया जाता है। The fourth issue is establishing the rule of law. 
the fifth is persuasion and social influence the sixth one is emotional intelligence as the need to understand how others feel issue of empathy also is involved in this particular case so what is the message that is required to be given to the public and also to the other stakeholders through that press conference so the first and foremost thing is no matter how noble the cause may be how noble the intent may be one cannot be allowed to break the law the second message which needs to be clearly given through that press conference is that the manner of protest was unlawful and should be dealt with as per law the number 3 is the ends we seek have to be commensurate with the tools we use so if justice is the end goal we seek you cannot use unjust means to secure a just outcome so here wrongful means would not justify the ends and non violence is the moral principle and strategy of a functioning democracy so leaning into violence is easy it takes moral courage to restrain oneself in a way that disrupts besides since these are young students and of impressionable minds the authorities can be requested to be lenient and show magnanimity because they are young minds they are the future of the country the participants of the convention should be informed that democratic protests are fine however those that are within the bounds of the law the rule of law has to be protected you can also suggest through that press conference that there are various creative methods of raising awareness instead of breaking the law to raise awareness for example creating a social media challenge creating songs through public relations and so on so what are going to be the long term measures policy suggestions for reducing oil fuel usage so the industry should be asked to take steps to understand and manage their greenhouse gas emissions by preparing annual greenhouse gas inventories and setting long term targets to reduce emissions as they are one of the biggest users of fossil fuels the companies should lead by example lead from the front organizations should also try to use more renewable energy non conventional forms of energy and companies should be encouraged to look beyond hydrocarbons to build a green energy enterprise and besides every stakeholder has a responsibility whether in government companies or civil society so all the stakeholders have to work together the government also should aid the transition from fossil fuels to green energy and renewables and the civil society should also try to reduce their carbon footprint use electric vehicles and recycle amongst many other similar steps that can be taken to reduce the use of fossil fuels so these are some of the resolutions which are required and these are some of the measures that can be taken and very soon i will be back with yet another case studies till then goodbye